I've got on just like a little bralette. Just give a little something something. You don't want to show them all the goods. Just like a little, just a little teaser of what you got going on under there. What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button or just go over and make sure, double check that you are subscribed to my account so that you are informed of each and every video that goes live. For today's video, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. For those of you that have been following, you know I've been dabbling in some active wear fashion hauls that you guys seem to really enjoy. I've been getting lots of DMs about my honest opinion on clothing and a lot of questions on my fashion. So for today's video, I'm just gonna do a basic fashion haul from H&M and in terms of my style I feel like I'm a very basic dresser if you will I try to choose kind of classic pieces that aren't too wild and bold because I feel like I just personally get sick of them quickly and I think they go out of style quickly as well so the way I go about shopping is usually choosing more solid basic pieces and I am just personally more drawn to like your neutral basic colors like grays, blacks, olive greens, things like that. So I'm very, very basic and that's just a little bit of my style for you. I did go to H&M. I made out with like a huge ass haul. This ends up being about $250 worth of stuff from H&M. Um, so I'm gonna try everything on for you, show you guys. I'm gonna do my best to kind of link everything down in the description box. So if there's something that you like and wanna purchase, that information is there for you. I'll talk about sizing, quality, and my thoughts and feels, and I hope you guys enjoy it. If you're interested in this, stay tuned. If you're not, it's all good. Stay tuned for more fitness videos to be uploaded soon. So one of the great things about H&M is they have all these basic t-shirts and tops, tank tops, hoodies. I think it's one of the best places to go to if you're looking for basic pieces. So these two basic tops were two for 10 bucks, which I think is a good deal. I don't know about you guys, but I go through undershirts a lot. Like I like to wear t-shirts under sweaters, under different things. And then your armpits get all yellow and nasty. So they don't, they only last me so long. So to be able to get $5 t-shirts is a pretty good deal. And I like this because it comes down long if you want it to. Fits nice and fitted. This is a size small, five bucks. The jeans that I'm wearing, I got in a size 28. And they're a little bit big in the waist. They are meant to be low rise, but they are really comfortable. It's like a nice stretchy material. I like the wash on these. It's like a little bit of a stone wash with a, you know, just a little rip in it, but nothing too excessive where you don't have any jeans left. The length of these is nice. They fit me good. Show you what the backside looks like. They feel good, even though they're a little bit big in the waist. The other two jeans I bought are in a size 27, so you guys will kind of see the difference. But with the low rise, I wanted just a little bit more room there because I just don't like it if I feel like they're low rise and like my, I'm like muffin topping. That doesn't feel good. I'd rather them be just a little loose. These jeans were $39.99. So they were a little bit more expensive than the other jeans I bought. I think they look nice, basic. So this next item I got from H&M is like a little light kind of springy coat. I live in New York. So the temperature right now has been really wacky. We've been going from like snowy cold days to like random 50, to 50 degree days. So it's kind of nice to have like an intermediate coat. And this is this gorgeous, pretty like mauve rose color. I got this in a size two, and this was a little more expensive at $49.99. One thing about H&M is their sizing is a little bit different because it's like a European store. And everything is not like treated equal. Like sometimes I'm a size two, sometimes I'm a size four, and sometimes it just doesn't work for me at all. But this is a size two. I want it to go with a size two because I wanted it to fit me nicely. And it's just like a really cute fit. Like I could wear this as a jacket, but I could also just see like wearing it like throughout the day as part of my outfit. If I was going shopping or something, like I just think it looks cute. It's super comfortable. The feel of it's really nice. And 50 bucks, I guess, for a coat isn't too bad. But I think it looks really nice. Again, it's kind of like a 
basic piece. Like something like this in your wardrobe is not gonna go out of style. Super cute, definitely, definitely love this piece. All right, next sweater, and I am not much of a pattern person. Like this is as wild as I get because Jason tends to tell me I look like an old lady when I wear flowers and patterns, but I loved the color scheme on this sweatshirt. Again, it's kind of neutral color with the gray, but it's got some nice pinks and purples. This is a size small and it fits really good. I think it's just really cute, basic. This would be like a standard outfit I would wear on a weekend. Something comfortable, a sweatshirt that's a little cute and pretty with some really comfortable jeans. And I think this was $19.99. I will try to find out. These next jeans are the H&M Skinny Vintage Jeans that while I was there, they were all on sale for $19.99, which is such a good deal on jeans. $20 for jeans is just perfect to me. Like, unless I am finding the exact pair of jeans that fits me perfect, I don't wanna be spending a ton of money on jeans. So $20 to $40 range is great. These are size 27 and they are a high rise size with the button up. So these jeans, like I said, you can see how high rise they are. Boop, there's my belly button. And they feel really comfortable. Um, I don't know. They look aight right on me. I don't think they're like anything crazy, but for $19.99, like I ain't mad. It's got the rips and the knees, which that's important for me that that's not too tight, especially because I do carry more of my weight in my lower body. If this is too tight and I go to sit down, your girl's gonna like rip right through these pants, which is not the intent of ripped jeans but they're really comfortable. They're actually nice and thick. Quality wise feels good. And so for 20 bucks, like why not? And they had lots of different colors and styles. Again, you gotta be like good to go with the high rise situation, which I feel like they do fit me pretty good. I just thought this, I don't know why, but I really liked this top. It's $12.99 and I feel like it's cute cause it's got like the little, kind of little cropped action going on which if I'm gonna wear a crop shirt, I like having it with some high waist pants. And I'm kind of like all about that life right now. Like, I just think it looks cute to have like a little crop top with your high waist jeans. Might as well show them off. Beverly Hills stole my heart. So $12.99, not a bad little top. Again, this is like a normal little outfit I'd wear on the weekend. Maybe even jazz it up with like some pumps or some heels if you wanna look sexy and sassy. But you know what? This whole outfit together is gonna be, if I can do math, less than $40. That ain't bad. So I don't know if plaid shirts are still in, but I feel like they are. I think they're a basic piece you can always have in your wardrobe. I love olive green, and this was $17.99. I got it in a size four because this is not something I wanna have too tight. And I like the length of this. It's got like the cuffed sleeves and it's not too short, which I like. It comes down nice and long. Feels very comfortable in the size four. And I feel like it's just really cute. You can still make this like look like a fun weekend look. And you could definitely like still dress this up with some heels. That's kind of one of my go-to styles is like a basic top with some cute jeans and some heels. And I tend to wear my plaid shirts, but it always looks cute too. This never goes out of style, just your basic wrap it around the waist and you've got a perfect kind of weekend look. This is a very popular look. If you're going to concerts, just like having a shirt wrapped around your waist. There you go, there you go. This next piece I am living for, you need this. Okay, so I was really bummed when I couldn't get anything from the Nikki B um, Gymshark launch. And one of the items I really wanted of hers was this very cute olive green bomber jacket, which was $99. I didn't get it, I didn't get my hands on it, and I'm glad I didn't now because from H&M, $24.99. It's not thick, so it's not gonna like be a jacket to wear out in the winter or anything. And I don't even know what this material is, but it's so pretty. It's comfortable and it's just super cute. 
fits good. So I got it in a size four. I probably could have gotten it in a size two to fit me a little tighter, but I really kind of like it being a little bit looser. Again, I feel like this is a super cute, classy piece that you could dress up or down. If you wanna make it a little bit sexier of a look, you could do like a low cut um, bodysuit underneath it. And then again, slap some heels on. Work it, do your thing. But $24.99, I'm living for this. I feel like this is just such a classic piece that I can throw over so many different outfits. And even in the summertime too, when you're wearing like a cute scrappy summer dress, which I live in in the summertime, it's good to have little light pieces like this that you can take with you to throw on when you go to the movies or like go out to eat. I hate it when you're like, freezing so it's good to have cute little items like this to throw over or you could do like I've got on just like a little bralette you could leave it kind of you know just give a little something something you don't want to show them all the goods just like a little just a little teaser of what you got going on under there a little clickbait if you will real life clickbait <laughs> this is another must-have piece for me especially in the winter time this is just one of their like oversized sweaters. It's kind of got like the sleeves bell a little bit. Um, I got this in a size small and the material is just super like warm and cozy and cuddly. It just feels really good. I like this again as like a weekend outfit or I'll even throw this with like some I was gonna say the word slacks but I feel like that makes me sound like a 50 year old woman woman <laughs> slacks let me throw some slacks on no let's not throw slacks on i will wear this with like some colored skinny jeans as a go-to look for when i go to work and want to look profesh but still be comfortable and you know not look like i'm wearing a dress suit like i just want to still look kind of stylish at work so i feel like this piece for me is very versatile it's something i'll wear on the weekends but it's also something i can throw into the mix for my work week life and that's really important for me with how i shop i personally buy pieces that i can wear to work and on the weekend because the majority of my outfits are going to work since i work monday through friday so i like to have pieces that can also fit into that mix and this was 19.99 such a good deal and they had a few different colors and it is so warm and cuddly i think we are on the last outfit you guys and this is just a basic sweater i think this was i forget i already wore this to work so i forgot how much it cost it was like 20 or 30 but it's very cute size four i got or size small excuse me it comes in fits in the waist but has like some comfort to it it's got a little room to it i love this like basic camel color i don't know i just i like that color tone it's classy never goes out of style and the jeans I'm wearing with it, these are actually just their black denim jeans. And these are $9.99. $9.99 jeans. You can't beat that. This is my number one like go-to work outfit for if I'm dressing myself for work, is a pair of just basic skinny black jeans, black pants. I feel like you can never own too many pairs of black pants. But these like, these smell really funny. I don't understand why black pants smell funny when you buy them. Has anyone ever experienced that? They have like this weird like gasoline smell to them or something, but spray them down with a little perfume and it's, you're good to go. But $9.99, you can't beat those. I dress it up with just a basic sweater and add some like cute shoes to it. And this is a great outfit for me to wear to work or again these are pieces that I might throw into the mix just on a weekend wearing black pants. Alright guys that is going to conclude my huge ass H&M haul that cost me under $250 for all these pieces. I think I was pretty successful for my style. These are clothes I can incorporate into weekend looks, into date nights or even add them into my work professional attire. So I really enjoy H&M for that. The sizing though, I feel like you really have to try stuff on because some stuff I'm like all over the board, whether I'm a two or a four or it just doesn't fit at all. Um, the sizing is a little bit different. So I would recommend going to the store and trying on items there first before ordering online with their clothing. But you can get very affordable pieces. They also have just like great 
work attire as well, very affordable. So again, I'm gonna do my best to link everything below. If you guys enjoyed this fashion haul with me, please give it a thumbs up. That is what lets me know if you like the video, I will keep doing them. Um, so I'd love your feedback below. Let me know if you shop at H&M and what you thought of this haul. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you.